Hi and welcome to this tutorial video. In this video, I will be showing you how to rip back your knitting, which is what you do if you've made a really big mistake that you cannot fix otherwise. And I will be showing you how on this swatch that I've made and let's say I've made a mistake. And um, for example, I should not have knit this far. Um, for example, if you're knitting a sweater from the top down and you've knit the body way too long, uh, then you can use this method to rip back your knitting. Um, please do check my other Fix Your Knits videos to see if you can fix that mistake any other way. Uh, so there are two ways to rip back your knitting. The first way is to put in a lifeline. Uh, we will put in another strand of yarn into the stitches and then you can knit on and if you make a mistake after that you can rip back um, so putting in a lifeline is a precaution you do this if you think you might be able to make a mistake um, so for example if you're knitting uh, a lace shawl and you're not really confident with lace or you just don't want to risk it because lace is really difficult to rip back without a lifeline um so yes with lace shawls or other things knit out of lace um i would advise to put in a lifeline um and if you mess up the lace then you can rip back to your lifeline and you can continue knitting. Um, the other way of ripping back is to insert your needle to into a previous row or round. And that is, of course, helpful if the mistake is already made. Um, and if your knitting is stockinette or at least not a very complex stitch, ribbing can also be uh, ripped back in that way. But for any complex stitches, I would advise to place lifelines regularly in your work. So here's my knitting and I'm going to show you how to put in a lifeline. I would use a yarn that is of a contrasting color and that is thinner than the yarn you are using. Take a blunt needle so that you don't split any stitches and thread the yarn through it. Then it's just a matter of putting the needle in the stitches right in with the knitting needle. You can pull it out like this and insert it into the next stitch again. Just be sure um, not to miss any stitches. And also, if you have any stitch markers on your needles, be sure not to go through the stitch markers, otherwise those will be um, stuck on the lifeline and you don't want that. Alright, so I've threaded the yarn through the stitches. So now I'm going to pull the needle out and I'm just going to continue knitting. Just make sure you don't knit that yarn into any uh, new stitches. So be sure not to pick it up with your needle. Okay, we've knit one row. And I'm going to pull the lifeline a little bit tight so you can see it better. I should have chosen a more contrasting yarn, but you can see that it's running through these stitches. 
Uh, you don't really, you don't have to use yarn. You can also use dental floss, um, which is really handy because in the box it has an uh, it has a cutter included, so you don't even need to take a, a pair of scissors with you. So that's really handy. And if you have interchangeable needles, then I'm gonna show you the cable right here. Then the cable might have this little hole. Um, or, you know, another hole right here. So, um, you can put the floss or the yarn right through that hole. I'm not sure if this one will fit. See, I can put my yarn right through here. And so, what that looks like with a needle. So, you have your needle. I would pull the yarn a little bit further and then you can just knit with um, the needle as you normally would and at the end the yarn will be threaded through all of the stitches so that's really handy but again um, I believe it's only for a certain uh, brand of exchangeable needles because my fixed circulars um, don't have that hole so I had to do it the old-fashioned way so now I'm gonna knit one more row and I'm gonna show you how to rip back to the lifeline I've just knit one more row and I've decided that I want to rip back to the lifeline I might have made a mistake or I've knitted too far um, so I'm gonna rip back to do that take out your needle very gently and you will see that the lifeline is still in place so gently rip back the yarn and at a certain point you will not be able to rip it back any further because it is stuck on the lifeline. So now we put the stitches back on the needle. Um, yeah, so if you're using straight needles, you want to take note where the yarn is. Uh, so where the yarn is, you want the point the needle point uh, tip facing that way but with circulars it doesn't really matter because there are tips on both ends of the needle and then you just and then you just insert your needle into the stitches just one by one And the last one and if I were you and you were going to knit that very same um, part again where you might be able to make a mistake I would just leave the lifeline in there and then when you've completed your knitting you can just take it out just like that let's say we have not put in a lifeline and we want to rip back a couple of a rose because we've made a mistake or we've knit too far so uh, we need to rip back you can also do that with your knitting needle and it's helpful to use a smaller knitting needle for that because it's easier to get into the stitches so I got a smaller knitting needle um, so let's say I want to um, rip back just a couple of rows, just until right here. Usually I don't start 
at the edge because I find that a bit more difficult to determine uh, which edge stitch belongs to which uh, row and usually I want to rip back to a specific row or round um, and to pick up stitches you need to insert your needle behind the right leg so I'm going to show you the stitches up close show you the anatomy of the stitches if you can see a stitch consists of a loop the top part of the loop is obscured by the next stitch. So what you see is the left leg and the right leg. And for knitting, the right leg is usually on the front side of your needles unless you're knitting uh, stitches twisted. Uh, so if you want to pick up stitches from a previous round or row, we have to pick up the right leg. So for example, I want to rub back until here, then I put in my needle, and then for every for every stitch, I want to be picking up the right leg. Do you see this? So I'm picking up that right leg. It helps to make a kind of swirling motion, like to go back. Okay. And now for me, here comes the tricky part, um, because garter stitch looks different then sock net stitch. So I'm gonna spread out the stitches and look real close. And I can see that these right here are more in line with the stitches that I'm picking up. See, if I'm spreading them out, you can see they're on the same row. So I'm going to pick up those. Then I'm inserting the needle until I get the other point, and then I do that the other way, right to the edge. All right, so we've just picked up the right leg here, and uh, it's very important to pick up stitches of the same row. But I'm also going to show you what happens uh, if you pick up stitches from one row below or one row above and how to fix that. So for this one, I'm going to pick up this stitch. See, it's one stitch above. Um, right here, we can really see that, but sometimes it's hard to, hard to tell the difference. So I'm going to make a mistake and pick up the stitch from one row above. And then I'm going to pick the right stitch again. All right, pick up the right leg. And here I'm going to pick up a stitch from one row below. Just to show you what that looks like. Um, right, so now I have to pick up that stitch to be on the same row again. And now come the edge stitches, which I find a little difficult, so I spread those out. Okay. And these seem to be on the same row. Oh, that last one is really difficult. Okay, I'm just going to put it right here. The edge stitches are the easiest ones to fix if you didn't get the right one. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, let's slip out that needle, rip back 
the yarn. Okay, so the yarn just got caught on the needle and I'm going to see what's wrong. So, I still have yarn here that I need to rip back. But here, the yarn that I want to rip back is still caught on the needle, which means that this is a stitch that I accidentally picked up one row above. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other end of the needle, I'm going to thread, I mean I'm going to pick stitches over to that needle and we can also see the stitch, um, the other stitch that we mistakenly uh, picked up. So. Um, we're going to fix that later. Oh, that was the one. Okay. So I've just picked up the stitch where the yarn is still attached to. So I'm going to put the stitch below. See that? I'm going to put the stitch below with the left leg forward, or with the right leg forward on the other needle. And if everything's correct, I can pull out the rest of the yarn. Right. Okay. So, how do we fix that one? Okay, so this is the one where we picked up the stitch below. Uh, so this stitch needs one stitch more in height. Is that clear? So um, there's some yarn behind this stitch and that is the stitch that was supposed to be on top of that. So we're going to recreate the stitch. I'm going to put it back on the left needle. I'm going to insert the needle as if to knit. I'm going to turn it to the other side. I'm going to put that strand on the needle. Okay. And complete the stitch. See? Now we have uh, rescued the knit stitch. So that was the one we lost. Um, and now I'm gonna put these back on the left needle. And that is how you rip back your knitting with a needle. Just make sure um, to use your correct size needles again when you resume knitting because this is a smaller size. That was my tutorial on how to rip back your knitting with or without a lifeline. I hope this tutorial was of use to you and that you enjoyed it and if so I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!